Okay, this is just a wrap up video of, I think I hunted this park for four or five days straight in a row. And then I believe I hunted the day before, just testing the machine out, but you can see all the targets I pulled out of that park. Just mostly in that uh, probably 40 by 40 I was gridding. And half of that I didn't even really hit that hard, but you can just see all the trash I pulled out of there. Just amazing how much trash is in the park. And so it feels good to get all this out of there. And all the keys that we found, the nail, these are starting to become popular in the parks too, the vapes. And we got lead. I didn't really show it that great in that last video, but there's that button off a jacket. It's a heavy brass button. What else is cool? Oh yeah. 925. I thought this was gold. Uh, but it ended up being gold plated over silver. Half of a, a ring. I looked for the other part of it, didn't find it. And what else? In one of my other videos, yeah, you saw me dig up this locket right here. Heart shaped locket. And then that chunker earring there. Oh, for coins, we did all right on coins. We got three quarters. Seven dimes. Looks like four nickels and then pennies. We got five, 10, 15, 20 pennies. And you know, all the clipped ones here, clip pennies. And then the highlight of that park, I, park hunt, I think is just a uh, toy gun from, I believe this is said it was in the forties or sixties, but the brand name is called Fanner. And I was only able to recover a couple pieces of it. And for when I look at the old pictures, it looks like this part right here is the cover and then it's supposed to flip down but yeah other than that a pretty good find right there i thought that was probably the, one of the coolest finds i found and then i i end up you know i found that 1903 barber coin let me get that real quick okay so we're back and here's that 1903 barber coin that i dug up pretty cool huh i think i ended up pulling like three three or four silvers out of that park and probably about 10 wheat pennies. I don't have them right here right now. I already threw them in with my other wheat pennies, but yeah, look at that. I cleaned it up a little bit with some baking soda. So not too bad, but yeah, that's a, I think these two are the highlight. That part of that toy gun I found. And then this, um, uh, 1903 Barber. That's pretty cool. Okay, and I'm going to show you what I, because I bought the XP Davis on eBay. I'm going to show you everything that came with it. Pretty cool deal I got. Hold on. Okay, so here we go. So I bought this on eBay. I found it, um, I guess it was slightly used. The guy only owned it for a few years. Probably just got tired of using it. Like most Davis users, um, they get rid of it. Without fully learning the machine and they don't have enough patience, but my honest opinion is you got to use it for at least a good year or two and then really get familiar with the machine. But in this purchase on eBay, we got the WS4 headphones with the uh, receiver on. Um, the remote module. Some extra, I think those come standard either way. The coil bolts, the pin pointer, MI6 pin pointer, not the MI4, and it's a little holster here. And looks like it gave me an Amazon plug. Of course, the coil charging cable, all the cables, 11 inch coil, not the X35 model, but that's cool. I'll take this one. I, I know this coil very well. And then the case came with it too, the travel case. So. I think I paid uh, $725 and free shipping. I think he charged tax on it or something like that, but that's no big deal. But yeah, what a great deal, huh? And then this uh, XP Deus, 
this XP Days travel kit. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay, we got everything inside everything inside the travel case for the XP Days, and uh, I did also get to show you this too. This massive piece of iron that I dug up there at the park. I mean, it's huge. So I don't know, I'm gonna keep that for sure. I'll probably um, grind it down. Maybe I'll sand it down with a grinder. Hit it. Hit it with a hammer a few times. Get all the exterior rust off. <clears throat> Because I'm really curious what this is. I have no idea, but it's got a bend on it, so I mean, it was for something, but other than that, okay. So let's put that to the side. And then this is what it looks like in the travel case. We got everything. I don't think I'd ever use a travel case with me, you know, flying somewhere, but in case I ever did, at least I would have this right here protected. I think these run about $200 too. But it's all form fitted and keep keep your detector definitely um, shock proof. If someone ever threw it out, or, this is nice. It's a thick thick uh, foam molding here. But yeah, we got the WS4 case, WS4 headphones, telescopic shaft here, the nice double D coil, the arm uh, arm. Um, I guess you call this arm case right here. Or a wristband or something like that. You know, you got all your um, attachments, coil charger, um, extra hardware for the the dais. Uh, the remote here has this little cutout here, so you can just pry it out real easy. Uh, pin pointer. Pin pointer fits in there real nice. So, I mean, it's. Definitely designed just for this detector for sure. Pinpointer holster. I actually like this one. It's very well built. It's got this nice clip at the end. And then just another area to hold your uh, hardware. And what else was I gonna mention? Oh yeah. <laughs> As I was going through the case, this was actually in there. I didn't have no idea it was even in there. This is a cover for the for where your remote goes in case you want to just cover it up and protect it. The plastic, in case you never use that uh, area for mounting, you just put this cover over it. You know, this detector's got all the little fancy gadgets like that, but that was hiding like over in this area over here. I had no idea that was even in there. So, yeah, I got all this for 725 bucks for shipping. So, I think total I paid with tax was like seven. 60 something like that that's not bad because i can easily get 150 dollars for this case if i want to recoup some money back but i don't know we'll see we'll see if i ever use it might be nice to just throw in the car one day and go travel somewhere with it but for me i think it's just easier to throw it in the backpack and go but if you're on a bumpy road or or flying somewhere this is definitely a way to go so your detector is protected Alrighty, well Thank you for uh, checking out this vid and just wanted to do a little wrap up of everything I found at that park. But yeah, I'll be going back there tomorrow too, by the way. But yeah, I want to find out what this is for. This is, it's got, it's meant for something. I have no idea. It's just a little slot right here, but I don't know. We'll get it cleaned up one day and I'll do a wrap up on that. All right, guys. Thank you very much. And I'll pop out one more video tomorrow. And then that should do it for a good week or so. I don't know. We'll see. Talk to you later. Bye.